In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the supine sign to screen for vertebral fractures. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. If you see a patient that comes to you with sudden back pain without a referral from the GP or specialist, the first thing you would want to do is to screen for serious pathologies. Osteoporotic compression fractures are the most common red flag in the vertebral spine with a prevalence of 25% in women over the age of 65 and 40% in women over the age of 80. According to an RCT of Langdon et al. in the year 2010, the supine sign has a sensitivity of 81% and a specificity of 93% in the detection of symptomatic vertebral fractures. To perform the test, simply ask your patient to lie supine on the examination bench with only one pillow. The sign is positive if your patient is unable to lie supine due to severe pain. The reasoning behind this test is that most compression fractures occur on thoracic level and that more compression is applied to this area when you ask your patient to lie on his back. Therefore, you will often hear during patient history that these patients have to sleep in a chair due to their complaints. Okay, this was our video on a supine sign. Make sure to also watch our video on the closed fist percussion test, which is another common screening test for vertebral fractures. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. And if you haven't, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or check us out on physiotutors.com. This was Kai for Physiotutors. I'll catch you next time. Bye.